It's the movie that's been remade 15 times in six languages over 84 years. So, is Devdust the ultimate Bollywood tale? G'day, I'm Mark Fennell and welcome to Bollywood for Beginners where we look at all that is strange, stunning and sublime about the Indian film industry and the story of Devdas is all of the above. Okay, now take a seat, grab yourself a glass of wine, get yourself some tissues because I'm about to tell you the tragic tale of woe that has become a cultural touchstone for an entire continent. But because this is for the web, I'm going to do it in under 30 seconds like a 17-year-old girl. Devdas is a kid with rich parents that hangs out with Paro, the girl next door. Then one day they decide like they're totally in love. And the parents were like, ew, she's like poor and shit. Then Devdas turns around and he's all like, BFS forever, leaving Paro thinking WTF. She then marries some old dude who still loves his dead ex-wife. Devdas hears about the marriage, decides he really does love Paro, and now she's all like, whatever, I don't want to see you unless you're about to die. Devdas then moves in with a prostitute, starts drinking himself to death. This makes the prostitute think, this guy's a real catch. But Devdas starts dying. He runs off to find Paro, she goes to meet him at the door, her family they're all like, no dice, young lady, leaving Dev just to die alone on the doorstep of his one true love. <sighs> okay, so what is it about this incredibly grim tale that has made it so popular over the years? Well, to answer that, we need to go back and look at how it's changed over time. Take, for example, the 1935 version of Dev Dust, which became an icon very quickly, a uniquely Indian tragedy where caste separation pulled apart pure love. Also, the soundtrack was said to be so harmonious that if played out loud, it could light a lamp demonstrating a pretty limited understanding of combustion back in the 1930s. Now, believe it or not, the cinematographer of this film, Bimal Roy, eventually went on to direct his own version of Devdas in 1955. It was bigger, it was richer, and above all things, it was angrier. And by that, I mean Devdas is kind of a bastard. <laughs> The grittier treatment makes it slightly harder to engage with. He's a cruel coward fighting against destiny. That brings us to surely the biggest version of Devdas from 2002, starring Aishwarya Rai and Shah Rukh Khan. It is truly one of the most lavish, ornate movies you will ever see. The romance is richer, the music is larger, the mother-in-law is far more inclined to pull interpretive dance at parties. This modern version of Devdust was plagued with problems, including a fan accident that decapitated a worker. And yet, it's by far the most textured of all three films. Devdust is sympathetic but flawed. You, you care for him even when he's being a self-absorbed, stuck-up, depressing drunk who dances surprisingly well considering. <laughs> Devdas is a uniquely Indian tale, it's steeped in cultural traditions, but behind that is this universal humanity to it. We're all imperfect creatures who've created imperfect rules to guide us, and sometimes those rules crush us. Ah, who am I kidding? It's about the awesome power of drunk dancing. <laughs> 